Hi oh, there guys and welcome to another Trains from 2017 video. Today I'm doing a scenario by a guy who follows me on YouTube and over on Twitch. He's uh, quite a regular guy uh, over on Twitch. Does a lot of travelling so he puts up some really good pictures on my Facebook group as well. So Davey, this one's for you. Uh, if you'd like this scenario, it's available on my Facebook page. It's not available anywhere else as far as I'm aware. So you will have to go over and like that as well. Um, just a quick note for all of you guys that are going to watch this. If you are liking this video, please do like it. Please do subscribe if you haven't, when you get going with it. All right? Sorry to bore you all at the start of the video, but somebody suggested I do it, so I have done. Right, let's get going with the good stuff. Welcome aboard, driver. Oh, welcome aboard. The driver only operated 0652 service to Lanark, calling at Canvas Lang, Underston, Bells Hill, Motherwell, Shieldmore, well, Wisher, Colicky and Lanark. Services are disrupted by ex-Hurricane Ophelia, so be careful. Save your train, pick up passengers here before departure. Okay. So, let's do things semi-properly. Let's go to the back of the train first. Put my tail lights on before somebody moans at me. It's a 91 set leaving over there. Ooh. For the fallen. Nice choice, Davey, nice choice. Right, tail lights. Uh, where are we going, Lanark, aren't we? Zero, 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 five. Zero, 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 five. Lanark. Let's get some windscreen wiper action going. Don't want to want it on fast, so I need to press Shift V. No, that is me done. Oh, open the doors, Al. Open the doors. Okay. What else do we need? I want my headlights on day. Testing indicators on, cab lights off. Indicator light dimmer. Does it actually work on this? I don't know. It does a bit, yeah. You look at the line light, it dims down. That's quite cool. Five eight with three driving cars. That's cool. I know that happened down south. I don't know if that happened um, up in Scotland. I'm unsure. So this is the Armstrong Powerhouse three two one. I know Davey only recently got it. Um, you guys know it's one of my favourites. I drive it an awful lot. So a driver only operated anyway. So I'm closing the doors. I can't see my starting platform, but I'm not getting anything if I tab. So let's get rid of that. One thing to note today, I am driving with a new controller. It's not rail driver or anything posh like that. It's a Razor Nostramus. And it's, um, what's that now going slow? It's taken me a little bit of getting used to. So I will make the odd mistake, I can guarantee it. A pendo is hatch open, nice. I like that sort of variety in scenarios. I know it's not very common. single yellow I'm expecting this to be uh, a little bit hairy considering it's to do with storm disruption and everything Very atmospheric. So yeah, Storm Ophelia. That was a hurricane, then wasn't a hurricane. Um, 
made Cambridge very, very red and windy. That was about it. Didn't do much else to us, really. I know in Ireland it's caused quite a lot of damage, wasn't it? Three deaths as well or something? It's quite a lot. I know Chris was pretty wind-battered in Linlithgow. And none of my family in Glasgow said anything or put anything on Facebook, so... I'm expecting that there wasn't it wasn't too bad. But it was like literally, was it, about a week after um, the 30 year anniversary of the 1987 hurricane, the big one. The one where Michael Fish told everybody there wasn't going to be a hurricane, it'll be fine. Which I thought was quite funny. If I keep this power level, I might get to that 30 and not have to touch anything. That'd be nice. Camus Lang's our first platform. Our first platform, our first stop. Our first railway station stop. Today will be Camus Lang. Where the nets are usually out in force. I've got a bloody moth in here with me, right? And with two monitors, I've got one that's got my game on it and another one that's just got my desktop and OBS on it. What one's the moth liking? The game one, which is actually the dimmer monitor. Strangely. See, I always kind of quite like it when Britain gets a storm because we either go absolutely mad and nothing happens or we don't do anything at all and something does happen. Like Cambridge was a weird orange because of, um, I think they said, was it particles of Saharan sand that were blown up with it and uh, smoke particles from the wildfires in Portugal. So I think London even went the weird orange colour as well. <sighs> Sorry, I really should mute my mic when I have a drink when I do a video. When I'm live streaming, I don't bother. When I do videos, I try and keep them semi-professional. Well, semi-professional in an amateur way. Oh, stutter, stutter, stutter. This is going to be our first bit of disruption, I think. I mean, when's this? This is sort of just come at seven in the morning. Now we didn't have much by this point. It was windy, a little bit windy. It wasn't anything to write home about by this time of the day. But I love people that go out of the way to make scenarios like this because it's like current events. It's nice. 
usually it takes a little while for anything to sort of get going, doesn't it? So like, especially with things like new liveries, because they take time to make. It's really hard to do. Um, I could have picked the first Great Western uh, Class 800 or whatever it was, 802, 801. Still haven't really... I, th I think my brain doesn't let me work out what their classes are. It's really bad as well. There's no reason for me to massively dislike them. Um, apart from the fact that they're replacing HSTs, which is a fairly valid reason. But it's not really, is it? I mean, progress is everywhere. People whinge when the Deltics are replaced by HSTs. I still know people that whinge about getting a, a Mark IV instead of a, a Mark III on the East Coast. But I was um, talking to a VTEC driver the other day and he was saying that uh, as much as he's not particularly looking forward to it, it is a once in a career thing usually, especially on places like the East Coast Mainline to, to actually get new stock. It's a once in a career sort of shell. I know that's not as true these days with the, the amount of stock shuffles and things that go on uh, between franchises and things like that, but on the East Coast. We've had 91 since when did they end a proper revenue service? 1990? 91? Oh, still supposed to be doing 40L. Um, yeah, so if you think a driver's career is 30, 35 years. You can see what they mean. Three two five scenario the other day. Literally by the end of it, I was ready to murder the next yellow or red signal I saw. And um, I tried recording another scenario earlier, which had some. The scenario itself was beautiful, and you guys will get to see it. But it was causing some issues with the route I was driving. So the guy that did that's looking into it. But that was nice and fast. And then I thought, oh, Davey's released that scenario. I'll go and give that a go. I thought that'd be a nice challenge, but interesting. I'm going to be doing reds and yellows, aren't I? Ah, well, it's good practice. I need it in the 3 2 1 as well. I was just talking about this. Drove the 319 on my stream the other day with the Armstrong Powerhouse sound pack in it. Really impressed. Really, really impressed. Really nice train to drive. It's been a while since I've really picked something up and gone, oh, that, that's actually really nice. It was one that I'd never really thought about. I had the pack, and I primarily bought the pack for um, the 325. Still, as you know, I've been playing my graphic settings, and they're still not perfect. So we will get some stutters. I'm still trying to iron out what it is. I'm doing a lot of fiddling about in the NVIDIA control panel to try and <coughs> work out what's working and what isn't. And a lot of people have asked me to do videos about graphical settings for Train Sim. Um, the problem with doing a video like that is it would only really work on my machine or a machine that is exact same. I know people that have exactly the same hardware uh, but have <laughs> different frame rates at different places. It's really bonky. So I will. When I've got my settings how I like them again, 
because stupidly can't remember how I used to have my settings, um, I will do a video on what they're at. Almost the 92. With a sleeper coming in, oh yeah, because that would have been late. Nice. Uh, the only thing I'm missing from this, uh, oh no, there's two things I'm missing from this actually. Oh, this is why you should set your DRA. One is um, an FSA tanker and the other one is the DTG class 221. Oh, see, DRA is there for a reason. Four, eight, twelve, no six on this. So it's modelling the three twenties. It's a very nice unit. Superbly done by Armstrong Powerhouse. The rain sounds quite nice. Never really sat and appreciated them on train sim. Are they different per route, the rain sounds? I'm guessing most people would just use the default ones anyway. And considering how old this route is, I'd be very surprised if it uses anything but the default ones. It's got 3.31 miles to Uddingston. Oh, my DSD's just gone off, in it? Singled bus of dangers denied. Cheers, Bobby. Ah. Just to start slating him, look, he pulls off for me. And it would help if I'd come back into. Forward. We're using this weird controller, it's a, a Razor Nostramus. Nostramus? Am I saying that right? I'm not sure. Um, and it's just because where I've been streaming a lot, I'm actually giving my hands, I'm not doing my hands any favours. Uh, I keep getting cramps in my wrists and then suffering, like I'll do a stream on a Sunday night and it, my wrist won't recover until Wednesday morning, then I'm doing a stream Wednesday night. I've been doing sort of six hours at a keyboard. So I had to go for something that's a little bit more ergonomic, and I think they call it a gamepad. It's not actually like a gamepad, like an Xbox controller or anything. It's like sort of a third of a key, quarter of a keyboard, uh, and I've got a little thumbstick and a weird like thumb button that's the space bar. It's actually quite cool. It will take a bit of getting used to, but I'm quite enjoying it so far. You can program it to like mimic other keys and things like that so I will get round to programming it properly how I want but I think changing anything I mean changing my position of my keyboard really throws me for ages so this may take a while I will make some mistakes I will miss an AWS alarm I will miss all that jazz It's amazing how good this route still looks considering its age. I think it's one of those core, it's definitely a core route for Train Simulator. It's 
it's like if somebody's new starting train simulator, I'd always say West Coast Mainline North one of the first routes I'd get. The scenario potential on it on here is unreal. And there's also a lot of content out for it. It's already available. Freeware and DLC. I always forget it's got this, it's got that view, this view that shows you like what's enabled and not. And you've got that one, and then that one, and that one. I actually quite like that further back view. It's clever how they put that in. Come on, interlock. Thank you. Oh, I put power on too quickly. It's like I think it, it lets you put power on from step two, is it? Maybe step one? But I'm not sure if that's it reads it via the pressure or reads it via the handle position. Not sure. Bells Hill. Mate, these live in Bells Hill. Yeah, this Nostramo thing, it was a, I've been looking for the Logitech version, which is the, was it the G13 or something? And um, they're still pretty pricey. Uh, these are pretty pricey, the Razer one's pretty pricey as well still, even though it's a fair few years old. But uh, I was on the local Cambridge Facebook seller site and some guy was wanting one for a fiver. I was like, ah, I'm having that. And he delivered it. Oh, e. See, there we go, trying to find the buttons on this keypad nearly just cost me an emergency brake application. pretty to look at though, isn't it? I mean, I don't know how cold it was up there. It wasn't, it, it was anything but cold in Cambridge. It was actually ridiculously warm. It looks like it should be cold, doesn't it? Today's been freezing.
kosteusheua. I don't know what timings, I don't think. So, Mother Wolf, Shield Moor, Wish I could look you like that. 18 miles left. You can't go back and look how many miles you're from it, can you? That'd be quite nice. Traction mate sounds on this are awesome. A yellow diversion signal ahead of us and then a third limit. Back up to 75 after the junction. Perfect. I was actually really pleased to find the scenario because I was, um, as I said, I started, did another scenario and did about 50 minutes worth of videoing. And I was getting the same issues as Chris was getting with his. And uh, I explained to him I was getting the same thing and I was videoing it. He was like, no, nah, it's probably not worth it, mate. And I was like, hey, you know what? I didn't want to show it off badly. It, it deserves better. So I'd done all that filming. <sighs> then deleted it. Then they came out and I was like, I'm sick of installing geos, I'm sick of flitting between things, my Railworks tools is on the blink, I don't want to do it. And then I saw this and I was like, yes, get in there, TV boy. So I actually got to do the Freightliner sleeper scenario that he did as well. I forgot about that one, I should have probably done that instead of this one first. And yeah, as I said, these are all uploaded on my Facebook page, it's Alan Thompson Simulations, the link is in the description below. Come on over and have a chat as well. It's, it's turned into a really nice group with, with just over a thousand members. Uh, we've just got over 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. So we're uh, rocking and rolling. And content wise, there is so much to come uh, in these next sort of six, nine months. And uh, also, big, big news today that um, DTG have got the license to use Virgin Trains logos for Train Simulator 2018 and TSW. So, I'd be really interested in seeing what they're going to come up with. I mean, the possibilities with um, Train Sim World are pretty good. 
possibilities within Train Simulator. I mean, it looks like we're just getting a rehash of the uh, Pony DTG 220, which, funny enough, was in this scenario. And I can understand why people use it as AI. Um, it takes up less resources than the, the Just Trains one. But I just can't bring myself to buy it. I've no idea why DTG went, right, let's make a new train. What do we really need in Train Simulator? Oh, I know what we need. We need a cross-country 221 or 220, whatever it is. No, 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 we didn't. We have a pretty decent Voyager already. But the Trains and World possibilities are cool. Consider we've already got an HST modelled. Um, I, I want to say we don't know what route's coming next. I'm pretty sure we don't know what route's coming next for Trains and World. Um, if we do, leave it in the comments below. Um, but to be able to get things like the... Oh, yeah, see, this is what the issue... What did I just press there? So what's that? F, okay. <laughs> press the wrong buttons. I've got something else to excuse my absolutely cack driving on now. Saying that, I've just stopped here. I don't even know how far down the platform I am. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in it. I wouldn't want everybody walking too far anyway. Not in this weather. Look at the old dears that have been out to get their messages. Random thought if the buttons were on that. There are, um, is it the 150 or the 156? And the PA button makes the, the, the right noise. Oh, is my passenger lighting on? Oh, why'd you do this to me? Uh, that would be a no. You did say to set the train up, Davey, I know. There we go. Shield Muir, Muir, Shield Muir. Muir. Sounds weird, it feels weird saying that. That might be the few bottles of beer I've had, but.
textbook. On the braking, that was. Heavy on three. I should have gone in at two. Shouldn't have used three unless I really needed it. But the actual release. So you should go down to step one just before you stop. That's what I did there. Quite nicely. It's the little things you see. It's the little things. Not the fact I've probably been speeding about three times on this. Not stopped at any proper stopping point. Um, probably haven't set the train up completely correctly. But hey. At least now I close the doors. Another bit of a climb up here. Shield warm um, mail depot over there. Still of the opinion this should have been called the West Coast Mainline Network, not the West Coast Mainline North. It's got a lot to keep you going, and then with uh, Suburban Glasgow on top of this, desperate to get that working again properly, I don't actually know what's going on with it. I think I need to reinstall my West Coast Mainline North and Suburban Glasgow. I think there's obviously going to be there's going to be some sort of conflict in the workshop downloads, I think. Wisher. Which is actually one of the other places. My, my mate Aiden, he lived in, started off in Paisley. And he's got, is it family? Or does he live in Bells Hill? I know they're all in shots, I think. He's going up there next weekend. Cheeky gets going out for a drink and to the Celtic game with my cousin. Not far to Lanark, no. 
I've enjoyed this. To be fair, I like anything that practices driving the 321. Or a 320 that this is. It's mundane, isn't it? There's nothing particularly special about them. Let's get the job done pretty efficiently. They're not new or exciting. But it's just so well recreated in Train Sim. It's a pleasure to drive. A real pleasure. I love the way Davies captured that. I mean, Train Sim always does the weird orange glow thing, but for once, the weird orange glow thing is right. Let me know in the comments where you're from, and did you get anything from this? Ophelia herself. Ophelia, that's some name though. It's like I've been reading Tatler's baby name list. Which, if you didn't read, I advise you not to. Makes you want to scratch your eyes out. Overegged that a little bit there. Five mile over my usual approach speed, but hey, I'm not going to moan. <coughs> a penultimate station stop. Let's try and make it half decent.
Yeah. Yeah, well, I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Ten points this one, Davy. You've managed to make the mundane a little bit more interesting. And I don't mean that. That's not a criticism in any way, shape or form. Because I think that's what we forget sometimes that when we're looking at scenarios and things like that. The majority of train driving, apart from being in charge of 400 tonnes of metal hurtling through air at 100 mile an hour actually what you do is, is, is pretty dull well repetitive any of you that have been for any driver assessments will know like the test you're on a thing called the dot board on test which is like um, they've had it called the dot test and stuff so it'd be a series of dots in different clusters and you'd have to like either cross it how many have four or circle how many have six and that's basically to test your concentration. About how well you can do repetitive tasks. They're well aware it's repetitive. So it's one of very strict rules on how much how many hours you can work, rest days. There's a lot in it. I always like this, the, the last little bit out to Lanark on this line because you get to stretch the legs a little bit of the train and get this up to 95 but that looks suspiciously like a yellow coming up so we might not be thrashing it for too long. Mm, that's green. And that ladies and gentlemen is why I'm not a train driver. Well, it's not really, but I don't think anybody should ever let me drive a real train. Now, I did get to start one the other day. I was very, very pleased with that. But I'm not going to go into too much details on here about it. crying out for super elevation in these curves, isn't it? They're yellow though.
horn as well. We don't have the horn yet. bit first. And we're even too fast for that bit. Really should have been paying attention. Last two miles in Salernic now. Is that a 20 or a 15 limit going in? I have to keep my eye out ready for that. Fifteen. Big stutter. Oh, no dump though, nice. Nice train sim doing this a lot recently. It's not dumping so much, which I'm, I'm pleased with. But it is doing these really big, like, frame hangs and stutters. Wee man waiting there, look. Thoroughly enjoyable run that. Nice stock, nice drive, nice AI, lovely weather.
excellent. That's not what I wanted, I want that one. All right, and guys, thank you ever so much for watching. Remember to head on over to Alan Thompson Simulations for this scenario if you want it. I do recommend it. Uh, feel free to like, share and subscribe to the video. And I will catch you next time.